What's up, everyone? It is Fido from Self Taught Hustle back at it again. And today I will be showing you guys how to execute a delete request to delete a piece of data via an API across the network, right? So in order to delete a piece of data via an API, we first want to go ahead and identify that piece of data. In other words, we want to isolate that piece of data so that we could go and then delete it with a delete request. And the way that we do that is by utilizing a URL, right? Now, this is just a blown up version of what's up here, right? But what we want to see here is that we want to get the post with the ID of four so that we can then delete it, right? So what you're seeing here is the address for the API. And then this right here, this post is a data structure that contains a list of posts, right? This could be article posts or posts for a social media website, but this is how they're contained, right? Within this data structure. And what we're saying is, hey, go to the API give me the data structure that has a list of posts and give me the posts with the ID of four, right? Which is what you see right in front of you, right? So effectively, this is how we isolate the piece of data. And once we have that data isolated, what we then go and do is that we go and delete that piece of data, right? Now, just to give you a little bit more background on that URL, if you were to uh, delete, for example, we, we were to remove this forward slash four, what we would see is the entirety of all the posts that there are, right? So this is the whole list of posts, right? Each one with a unique ID. Now, the reason why you wouldn't want to select send a delete request just to this entire data structure is because effectively there you would be saying, hey, I want you to delete the entire data structure. If you just say delete uh, forward slash post. So what you want to do to prevent that is that um, you want to, you want to, like I said, del isolate uh, the piece of data. And in this case, it'll be uh, the post with the ID of four. And once you do that, then you can go ahead and execute a delete request to delete this specific piece of data. Now, how we do that programmatically is that we come over here to our code. And uh, for the setup today, very similar to all the other setups, all you need is a basic HTML file with a couple script tags. And what we want to do is that we want to programmatically specify the post that we want to delete by setting the URL of the post, right, to a string data type, right? So go to the API, go to the post data structure, give me the data uh, or the post to that has the ID of four. We set that up into a variable. I'll open this up a little bit more so you guys can see it. Right. And then now what we're going to do is that we're going to set up an options variable or a variable by the name of options that's set to a object literal, right? And we are going to specify the request that we want to execute in a property by the name of method. In this case, what we want to do is we want to delete this uh, post with the ID of four. And that this is how we specify it here in this object literal uh, set to a variable of options. And then what we're going to do is now we're going to reference the fetch function, right? And what the fetch function is going to look for is two parameters that essentially say, hey, where am I going and what am I going to do, right? So we're saying, hey, go to the post data structure, give me the data uh, that is associated with the ID of four and delete it, right? And the way that we specify that through the fetch function is that we pass those variables into uh, the function as parameters, right? And then what we're going to do is that we're going to use uh, the dot operator with the then function to get uh, the response back from the API, right? So at this point, what we said is like, hey, we're going to go out to this API, we're going to ping it, and we're going to delete the post with the ID of four, right? So once we ping the API, what we want to do is that we want to check to see what the API told us, right? The response from the API. And that's why this dot then is uh, handy dandy. So what we're going to do is we're going to catch that response back from the API here. And then we're going to use a fat 
arrow anonymous function to pass that response uh, into a console log and inside of that console log, we're going to look at the status of the response, right? So this is the, we're, we're essentially just catching what the API is telling us after we ping it. And if the status is set to 200, that means that we have successfully deleted this post right here, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at our application. And as you can see here, we have a status of 200, which means that we have successfully deleted the post with the ID of four. Now, the reason why you still see it here is because this is a simulated API, right? So you're not actually going to see the data change, but I do recommend that when you do this with real life data is not simulated ones that you validate that the data has been changed, right? The good thing is though, that we could still practice here and essentially simulate that it has been a successful delete request via the status code that the API gets us or retrieves back to us, right? Or sends to us. So yeah, that was, uh, that was it. Uh, that's how you execute a delete request. Um, if you guys followed along with the series for this week, I'm really, really proud of you. Uh, keep going. Uh, and if you have any questions about this or any other aspect about APIs, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. I appreciate you guys and I will see you next time.